A few months ago, I posted a comparison video featuring two of the most popular photogrammetry apps on the mobile market, Polycam and Kiri. Polycam has long been the go-to app for photogrammetry, but over the past few months, Kiri has started gaining a dedicated audience of its own. You can watch the comparison video for the full results, but the main takeaway was that while Kiri performed decently, it had a few significant issues that hindered its performance. For instance, the maximum texture resolution being capped at uh, 4K was a major limitation. Since then, Kiri has received two updates. During that time, I also had the chance to exchange emails with the app's developers. They were genuinely open to feedback and took note of the issues raised in the video and emails. I haven't tested the updated app yet, so the plan for this video is to go through the update and see how much Kiri has improved since the last review. Let's go! Uh, we'll go through things in more detail shortly, but I'm happy to say that all of the major issues have been addressed. We can now use up to 300 images compared to the previous limit of 200. While I would love to see even more, a 50% improvement is still a win. Textures now support 8K resolution compared to the earlier 4K. As you'll see in a bit, this makes a huge difference. While it's still not on par with uh, Polycam's multiple 8K textures, it's definitely a step in the right direction. And last but not least, we can now use all iPhone lenses. This enables the scanning of uh, smaller objects, opening up a whole new set of scanning possibilities. Let's go through some examples. To test the 8K texture resolution, I used the same set of images from my previous video so that we can easily compare the results. I uploaded the images to Kiri and waited for the processing to complete. Unfortunately, this part hasn't improved much. It still takes a long time to process. But let's forget about that for now. Let's check the texture quality. The improved 8K resolution makes a world of difference. As you can see, there are now far more details we can work with. In the previous version, all the cracks and veins in the rock were completely lost. But now, with the textures rendered in 8K resolution, all these fine details are back. The improvement is even more noticeable with a big rock asset. In this case, the difference is huge because the 4K texture in the earlier version was stretched across a larger surface, leaving very little detail on the actual asset. With the 8K texture, the rock now has enough detail to allow the camera to move closer without worrying about things looking blurry. However, compared to Polycam, Kiri is still lagging behind. For this asset, Polycam uses 5 8K textures, providing an unmatched level of detail. Polycam's, or rather Apple's approach of uh, splitting texture data into multiple textures makes processing the final asset more challenging. Still though, having more detailed information to work with is a trade-off I would gladly take over convenience. Unfortunately, not everything about Kiri's update is as impressive as I would have hoped. It appears that the new updates have led to a reduced polygon count, resulting in a loss of geometry detail. It doesn't happen with all assets, but it does happen on assets where the geometry information from the images is not maxed out. For example, here's a top-down view of the small rock. This scan uses only 90 pictures in total. As you can see, the bumps and weathering of the rock, which appeared sharp in the older version of Kiri, are now blurrier and less precise. On the other hand, the big rock asset, which used the 200 images, the maximum allowed in the previous version, doesn't show any loss of detail. Both meshes have a 6 million polygon count. I've already reached out to Kiri to see if they're aware of the issue. I've sent them some images to help them out to diagnose the issue, and once I hear back from them, I'll update you with a comment below the video. The other feature I wanted to test out was the new texture rebaking functionality. In theory, this should allow for sharper and more detailed textures. 
This was a common issue with the previous version of uh, Kiri. Let me explain. When you capture an object, you often capture a lot of unwanted uh, surrounding areas. But here's what happened with the earlier version of Kiri. Even if we cropped the scan to a smaller section, the texture wasn't recalculated, resulting in the same blurry image. With the new version, the texture is recalculated, which theoretically should produce a more detailed result. However, at first glance, I don't see a significant improvement in texture quality. Both of these textures look the same to me. There might be some improvement there, but it's not immediately noticeable. As a matter of fact, upon closer inspection, it's a little bit worse in some areas. Notice this part here. This is the original uncropped scan. Everything looks fine here. But if we now go to the rebaked version, notice this blurry patch. My guess is that this is a bug. When the texture is recalculated, they probably don't dedicate the correct UV space for that segment of the model. And if we quickly check the UV space, we can see that very easily. This neighboring part takes a good chunk of the UV space. But this part here, I cannot even see in the UV map. I've already informed the team about this uh, issue and hopefully they will be able to fix it. But for now, keep this in mind. If you choose to recalculate the texture, you might stumble on this issue. So what can we gather from all this? Some aspects of the app have improved dramatically, but a few new bugs have crept in. Overall, however, the app is significantly better than before. The addition of 8K textures makes Kiri a credible competitor to Polycam. It still cannot go head to head with uh, Polycam, but it's steadily closing the gap. And now that the amount of pictures was raised to 300, we can get a lot more detailed scans. Beyond these improvements though, what I really appreciate is the responsiveness of the development team. They genuinely listen to user feedback and actively work to address issues, which is incredibly important. Although the app is not quite where it needs to be yet, I think it will get there. When I posted my video and the team reached out to me, they were able to fix many of the issues in just a matter of weeks. That's a clear sign of a team that cares about their product. I'm hopeful that at some point in the future, Kiri will be able to compete with and maybe even outperform Polycam. As for my personal workflow, it won't change. I'll still be scanning using my uh, computer and dedicated photogrammetry applications. That being said, I want to support the Kiri team, so I purchased a yearly plan during Black Friday. It was only 40 euro, so it didn't break the bank. Will I use the app for my professional work? Probably not, but I'm okay with uh, spending 40 euro to support a team that's clearly working hard to improve their product. And that pretty much uh, sums up the updates to the photogrammetry parts of Kiri. I know that they also have a new and improved uh, Gaussian Splat to Mesh uh, update, but I'm planning to test that on a separate video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.